Hello everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today, uh, it's summer, I wanna talk highlighters, and I have four cream favorites right in front of me, so I'm just gonna kinda run these down quickly. If you watch me regularly, these won't be anything new and special to you, though we have a very new and exciting brand coming very soon with some new highlights I'm willing to try, um, but we're getting there. Today it's gonna be four classics go-tos of the cream variety. These are what I use the most regularly as well, and I also feel that these give you that real full-on summer glow. So I'm just gonna start off at my longest love, absolutely, and that is gonna be the Kierweiss highlight. I still keep it in this little red box. Um, I don't use the original one in Radiance. That one has a little bit more of a lilac, silvery kind of tone to it, which is pretty. It's just not really my vibe. My favorite is Ravishing, and you can see it is very well loved by yours truly. It is just a stunning yellowy champagne shade. Works on a lot of skin tones because of that. It does pull a little bit more yellowy. The silver is much harder to pull off, especially on a deep complexion. This one though is pretty fair, so if you are very um, rich in complexion, um, this might be a little too light. Maybe go for something a little bit more golden, but this one is so gorgeous, and I love the Kierweiss cream formula. It's so interesting. It's like, yes, it's creamy, but it blends easily and has a very weightless feel to it that I just love and adore. So I'm just kind of tapping some of the high points on my cheeks right here. And yeah, it's just, it's good stuff. What is not to like about it, seriously. Moving along, I did just review the full Lumi collection from um, Fit Glow Beauty, so I'll link that down below if you guys haven't seen it. Some great options in there, but my favorite, most used ride or die is the original Lumi Firm Highlight. It's just a beautiful, beautiful product. I love the color of it. Again, it's a little bit more in that uh, champagne zone. This one has a little bit more of a pinkness to it, a little bit more difficult to pull off on a deep complexion, um, but still stunning nonetheless. This one I used religiously when it first came out. It's like the only thing that ever graced my cheeks. It has a very similar texture to like the Cure Weiss where it's almost like that cream to powder finish. It's not quite powdery, but it's not overly creamy, sticky, wet, anything like that. Um, and I love, of course, this has um, plant peptides inside of here and uh, it's boosting your collagen, basically just making your skin look younger. And right here on the cheekbones, right near the orbital bone of the eye, I'm all, oops, I'm all for that, and you can't beat the adorable little packaging. I love the Lumi packaging, I think it's so cute. Moving along, this one is for the more faint of heart. However, I found that I was reaching for it a little bit more regularly um, because I found that I wanted a little bit more of a low-key highlight sometimes. So if you do, that is where this comes in. This is the Vapor Highlight um, Illuminator in uh, Highlight Illuminator, Halo Illuminator in Moonlight. And um, this is the mini one. It does, of course, come in a full size, but if you want to just try it out, the Vapor Runway Minis are fantastic. I reviewed those as well. But this is the same exact formula as the large one. And in part, it's just this really soft, pinky sort of glow. It does have a little bit more... Um, like glitter, but it doesn't sink into the pores and you don't really notice it. You just kind of notice it when you heavy swatch. But I love this for when I have um, like full glam going on and I just want like a little something or I love it on minimal makeup days when I don't want it to really look like I'm wearing makeup. I just want to look like I have this really beautiful, gorgeous, glowing skin. This is where that comes in. And at first I wasn't a big fan of how uh, more subtle that this one is, but I've grown to really love it for the reasons like I've already said. So like I said, more faint of heart, more oily skin, something like that. This is a good one to check out. And finally, uh, I don't want to say my favorite because I think the Cure White is my favorite, but it just is the most knockout, bang on, beautiful color. And this is the Living Luminizer from RMS. And this is just a total classic. This one is a little bit more difficult to wear um, because it pulls a little bit silvery, but it doesn't need to be this one. They have a bunch of beautiful shades that we carry. I'll include that down below, but this is just the OG. It this one is very creamy and tacky, um, so I like using this Like if I'm going to do all cream on the face, to be honest with you. You can mix it, um, but that's just my favorite way to do it. But you will just look wet. It gives you that wet look. It's so beautiful. There's just really nothing quite like this. Um, things come close, but this is always the number one. 
so that's it you guys I got really excited to talk about highlight there I just want to do a quick rundown of some ones that I love um, of course there are so many I've reviewed highlighters in many different forms maybe I'll go ahead and link those down below for you so you can kind of get some more highlight action but these are my favorite of the moment if you're in for a cream that's great if you like me to do this with powders I could do that too but these are definitely my most reach for highlighters in my collection powders cream or anything else like that. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to know more about these products, please just make sure to ask me a question down below. Check out the description box or whatever makeup I'm wearing. Um, our social media is always linked down below as well so you guys can check us out. We're absolutely everywhere. Just waiting for you to come hang out with us. And um, just make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. I do upload here twice weekly and I don't want you guys to miss it. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your continued love and support. Please let me know what you'd like to see next do you want more summary roundups please do let me know and i will catch you guys in my next video bye